Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. So today I got uh, Redmi Note 11 and I have flashed the Xiaomi Hyper OS. Basically the ROM name is Hyper Next OS Unicorn for the Redmi Note 11. Now believe me, this is currently the best ROM for the Redmi Note 11 having a hyper operating system. If you have Redmi Note 11 and if you want to have uh, or to use the best hyper operating system on your Redmi Note 11, then I will suggest this ROM. Because uh, first thing that uh, it have a mid dialer, call recording feature is also there. Battery life is very good and uh, we are getting animations, a lot of animations with this ROM. But well, you can see that next OS based on the Xiaomi Hyper Operating System. This is the developer name. Let me go to details and info. You can see that in white version 13. This ROM can be flash on Redmi Note 11 if you have an unlock bootloader. You can see that the animation is provided with the ROM and also the camera application working perfectly editing tool also provided auto crop filter edges etc etc create you can erase the thing objects etc etc so this feature is good for those who like to edit the pictures on your on the mobile phone these are the pictures that uh, taken by me video recording the front camera etc etc working perfectly the rear camera and the front camera now if i go to home screen you will see that there are many many uh, options feature features provided on the home screen section after flashing the rom don't miss to check this section you will see that many things are provided and you're gonna love it so we are having a blur control center the hyper os blur control center provided with the rom yes looking so beautiful definitely you will see that the icons are looking so neat and clean and uh, i have uh, changed the icon size so here it is next os lap where i can change or i can modify modify the rom the way i like to set the rom the way i like to modify the rom here is the section where i can do the modification many many modifications are provided like status bar notification privacy hidden setting settings etc etc so the always on display is working if you want to make schedule you can do that if you want always the always on display be on so you can set that also so the always on display will be turned on always every time many themes are available for free and also we can purchase and yes we can import the third party themes directly by tapping the import button and importing it from the internal storage so the face unlocking is working and the fingerprint scanner is also working with a good speed so we are having a folder bounce animation which is looking beautiful like opening the folder with bouncing animation and then closing it so after flushing the rom we have to go to account sync and we need to turn on the google play services to get the play store and to get the google application be working here you can see that screen lock fingerprint lock and face unlock all three are working perfectly about the battery battery is so good with this rom the 90 hertz refresh rate is working with the rom and if you want you can select the default so there are widgets available with the rom and all are purchase version well definitely i will say that those who have the redmi note 11 4g mobile phone and if you like to have a custom rom the hyper os definitely go for this rom you're going to love this rom because this is the perfect rom for the redmi note 11 the latest version android 13 unlock the bootloader if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader the link tutorial video provided in my video description you can watch that video unlock the bootloader and then you can simply follow the method now let me show how to flash this rom on the redmi note 11 but before going ahead do not forget to like the video if you are not a subscriber yet do not forget to subscribe my channel click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all watch the video flash the rom and enjoy the rom so here is my downloaded folder where i have downloaded all the files which are required for the flashing so this is the hyper next os unicorn for the redmi note 11 and white version 13. 
the stock status bar notification, the fix file, and the TWRP recovery 3.7.0 12.1. So links are provided in my video description. Just click the links and download these files. So I have provided the build change log of this current ROM in my video description. Must read these all things that developer is bringing with the ROM. So you can decide either you want to flash it or not. And what are change that we are getting with the ROM. So first of all, extract the TWRP file in same folder and then open the extracted folder of the current custom recovery and moving towards the mobile phone so must unlock the bootloader then must check the battery must be charged to maximum save all the internal storage data because this uh, procedure or any custom rom flashing procedure will format everything so the mobile phone definitely must be on hyper os uh, every note 11 is uh, having the let me uh, uh, hyper os update as you can see that my phone is already having the hyper os update in case if your mobile phone is not having hyper os then you can check the software update and update your mobile phone to hyper os android 13 right and then go to the fingerprint face data and uh, turn off the lock screen then in case if you are using xiaomi account sync your xiaomi account if you want then must remove it and same way go to the Google account like account and sync sync your Google account once and then must remove it to avoid any issues later if you have done all these things then you can simply power off the mobile phone so the mobile phone must be having an unlock bootloader and the mobile phone must be power off we need a data cable and check the other side of this cable must be connected with the computer now we have to boot the mobile phone into fast boot mode press and hold the volume down key and then connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds you will see fast boot screen release the volume down key immediately my mobile phone is booted into fast boot mode and connected already with computer double click the flash one file the flashing recovery will start it the command window will get closed now double click the flash two file and immediately press and hold the volume up key before this logo appears just wait the set will boot into team in recovery release the volume up key i will go back to my downloaded folder and uh, both my storages appear on my uh, computer screen we'll go to my downloaded folder and i will copy the rom file and the stock status bar notification file from the downloaded folder and we'll go to my mobile phone internal storage double click and then i will paste both file on my internal storage of my mobile phone finally both files copied on my internal storage of my mobile phone so we are done from the computer i will disconnect the cable first from the mobile phone and then unlocking the custom recovery screen and then tap first tap reboot and check the current slot must be A. In case if the current slot like you have B, then you need to tap the slot A and then you need to reboot the mobile phone into bootloader and you need to reflash the custom recovery once again. Then simply you can follow the further steps. So currently my mobile phone having current slot A, right? I will go back to my main screen tap wipe then tap advanced wipe select delvic art metadata data swipe turn go back to main screen tap install no first tap settings then go to third menu and make the screen time out to maximum now go back to main screen tap install and uh, in case if the storage is not appear appearing here then you can tap the up label tap data to uh, open the data folder and tap media and you can see the files in case if this thing happens like uh, it happened to me to my mobile phone so this is how to go to the media folder now here first tap to select the rom file by tapping on it and then 
swipe to start flashing. Now the ROM will take a time, we have to wait. So the ROM got flash. Now uh, tap once back, then uh, tap stock status bar notification file and then flash it. And when it is done, then go back to main screen, tap wipe, tap format data, type YES, then tap here. And when done, then tap reboot system. Finally, the mobile phone will start booting to Xiaomi Hyper OS. Now, just wait. This uh, first boot will take a little long time. So, finally, first boot completed. Complete the setup screen. So, we got the ROM flash very perfectly. Well, uh, after flashing the ROM and after completing the setup screen. So, uh, we have to wait for like uh, 3 to 4 or 5 minutes. So, the ROM will get optimized and you will get a good speed using it. So this is the same ROM, next operating system based on the Xiaomi Hyper OS Android 13 that I just flash on my mobile phone. Amazing ROM, amazing speed, amazing animations, colors, etc, etc. Definitely you are gonna like uh, this ROM after using it. Do not forget to like the video and keep watching my videos and do not forget to subscribe my channel also. Thank you and enjoy the ROM.